Welcome to Pre-Math. In this video tutorial, we are going to calculate the distance between the points A and B as you can see in this given diagram. In this given diagram, we have been given three circles. The blue circle has a radius 6, the red one has radius 4, and the green circle has radius 3. So let's go ahead and get started with our solution. And here we got three circles as you can see. And let's go ahead and label these centers. I'm going to call this center of this blue circle M, this red circle N, and this green circle P. And now we are going to draw the perpendiculars from these centers onto this horizontal line. Let's do that one. So this is going to be the first perpendicular. This is the second one. That is going to be 90 degrees. And this is the third one. And now we are going to label the points on this horizontal line. This point I am going to call point a this point I'm going to call point B and this point C and here is our much nicer looking graph well, let's go ahead and go over our action plan before we proceed so we want to calculate the value of a B this distance and we can see from this figure that a B equal to AC plus CB. So therefore we are going to calculate AC and CB first. And here is our next step. Let's focus on this red and blue circles. And now we are going to connect these points M and N. Let's go ahead and connect it very carefully. We are going to connect these points. And moreover, we are going to draw a perpendicular somewhere on this line C N. We're going to call this point D. So I am going to draw a perpendicular from point M. So that is going to become M D. And here is our much nicer looking diagram. Now let's focus on this triangle. MDN as you can see over here this angle is 90 degrees and we know that the radius of this blue circle is 6 and the radius of this red circle is 4 so the total length of this MN is going to be 4 plus 6 is going to be 10. Now let's look at this is the radius of this blue circle and this from here to here is 6 isn't it and the radius of this red circle from here to here from this point to this one is 4 so the distance between these points over here 6 minus 4 is going to be 2 units so that means this ND is going to be two units and now we are going to calculate this side which is our dm and we know this triangle mdn is a right triangle so therefore we are going to use the pythagorean theorem and here is a pythagorean theorem a square plus b square equal to c square and in our case a is I'm gonna say this side is A and we are going to calculate this side and this side I'm gonna call B which is 2 and this longest leg I'm gonna call side C which is 10 and here's our Pythagorean theorem A square plus B square equal to C square let's fill in the blanks A square we need to calculate plus B in our case is 2 that's going to square and C in our case is 10 square let's simplify a square plus 4 equal to 100 let's move this 4 on the other side so a square is going to be 100 minus 4 
equal to a square equal to 96. Now let's take care of this uh, square. We undo this one by taking the square root. So in our case, this square and square root, they are gone. So a equals to square root of 96. And here I have just copied down square root of 96 right up here. And as we can see that if we simplify, it turns out to be a four times square root of six. So that means in our case, A turns out to be four times square root of six. So thus our A value turns out to be a four times square root of six. So this side is four times square root of six. And we know that this side is dm. So that means this side dm is four times square root of six. And furthermore, we know that this side dm equal to this side cb because this dm BC is a rectangle. So thus our side CB turns out to be 4 times square root of 6. And in this next step we are going to focus on this red and green circles. And we are going to connect these points P and N. Let's go ahead and do that one right up here. And now let's go ahead and draw a perpendicular P from P to some point E on this line segment NC. So this is a perpendicular. And here is our much nicer looking diagram. Now let's focus on this triangle PEN. And we can see over here this is a radius of this red circle which is four units and this is the radius of this green circle which is three so the total length of this p n is going to be a four plus three is seven and now we are going to calculate this part n e we know that this whole height is 12 isn't it this is twice of this radius 12 and this side this height is 3 so this is going to be 12 minus 3 is going to be 9 and now since we are looking for this part so we are going to subtract this much which is 4 so that is going to be a 9 minus 4 is going to be 5. So this side is going to be 5 units. And now we need to calculate the side of this PE. And we know this triangle PEN is a right triangle. So therefore we are going to use the Pythagorean theorem. And here is a Pythagorean theorem, a square plus b square equal to c square. And in our case, this is the longest leg is our c, which is 7. I'm going to call this side a, and we're going to find the value of this one. And this side is b, which is 5. And here's our Pythagorean theorem, a square plus b square equal to c square. Let's go ahead and fill in the blanks. In our case, a square we don't know, just write it down, plus b in our case is 5 square, and c in our case is 7, and then square. Let's simplify a square plus 25 equal to 49. Let's move this 25 on the other side, a square equal to 49 minus 25, so a square turns out to be 24. Let's go ahead and undo this square by taking the square root on both sides. So we got this square and square root is gone. So a turns out to be square root of 24. 
and here let's look at this square root of 24 I have just copied down over here and when we simplify it it turns out to be 2 times square root of 6 that means a turns out to be in our case 2 times square root of 6. So thus our a value turns out to be 2 square root of 6 and we know that this is a is same as side PE so therefore PE equals to 2 times square root of 6 and we know this side AC and side PE are equal side because this PECA is a rectangle so therefore our side AC turns out to be 2 times square root of 6 and here is our final step we finally figured out our AC this side is 2 times square root of 6 and side CB is 4 times square root of 6 and we know that AB equal to AC plus CB so therefore our AB is going to be simply 2 times square root of 6 plus 4 times square root of 6 let's combine them so that is going to give us 6 times square root of 6. So thus our AB value turns out to be 6 times square root of 6 or approximately equal to 14.7 units. And that's our final answer. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.